action because it's time for Top Fuel quarterfinals. Our first matchup features David Fedorowicz from Gainesville, Florida in his third qualifying performance of the year. He also qualified at the Mid-America Nationals at Scribner and the World Nationals at Norwalk, Ohio. And there is Doug Foxworth from Lytle, Texas, who won the Winter Nationals and was runner-up in Scribner and desperately needs to get this run behind him in order to advance his quest for the World Championship. Four people have a good shot at the World Championship, and it looks like Foxworth is on a good run. Good pass. Oh, and he loses the right rear tire. Another one of those tire explosions. What a great driving job, though. He's bringing the car under control. Listen to the ET on this run. 517, 277, and then the tire exploded. Notice he's using a tire with an inner liner that kept the rim off the ground and no doubt contributed to Doug's ability to keep this car going straight and not hit anything. Look at the difference between a run of 277 and 254. You can see Foxworth, there goes the tire, shredded to pieces. He's having a little bit of difficulty handling the car, but he does a nice job. Keep in mind that Doug Foxworth and his crew, you watch their reaction there, have had two vicious crashes earlier this year. The situation is getting out of control. Man, it's getting real bad. I hate to like be pointing fingers, but uh, Goodyear needs to do something. I mean, they can say what they want about people throwing stuff off cars, but uh, this is totally, totally out of hand. There's at least half a dozen guys I know that run still real safe operations that are throwing stuff off their car. This is just totally out of control. The driving job was astounding because it immediately went right, and you, you knew Fedora, which was right next to you, it was a 17 to a 26. It was a close race. Yeah, well, I mean, the last thing I want to do is bad enough tearing up your own stuff, but the last thing you want to do is tear up somebody else's, too. So, I mean, that was that was my main control. It didn't have any brakes. It tore the brake line off somewhere in the in the deal, so I was just kind of hanging on. I was trying to pump it, hoping to come back. But I had a little luck riding with me, too. You can't say it was just all skill. It was just lucky enough to help me out by still going straight. Man, when he lost the brakes, you better believe there was some luck involved. Nevertheless, Doug Foxworth will get repaired for the next round. Now, here is Mike Smith, a young top fuel driver, now making his home in Dover, Delaware, which is the home of his car owner, Diesel John Carey. And there is Jack Ostrander. Talk about a star-crossed season for Doug Foxworth. Ostrander was in the points lead earlier this year, but suffered his fourth big crash in the last two seasons, and that knocked out his primary car. Now he is trying to get his season back together against Mike Smith. But you know he came in here and qualified number three. Smith is only number six, so Pontiac Jack should win this. No, Mike Smith, 515, 284 miles per hour. What a run. On this replay, watch Ostrander's car in the left lane on the driver's right side of the engine. Right there, there's some breakage that may have made the difference. That was the quickest and fastest this car has ever gone. 515 at 284. That's good. That's Ostrander, good. 516 right alongside you. I saw him a long way. Car left. I thought I got him off the starting line. Went out there and I saw his front wheel. I said, I don't got him. I don't have him. All of a sudden, about 800 foot, she took off. And took off taking Mike Smith right into the semifinals. Now there is Kenny Koretsky from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania. His opponent right there, the number one plate riding with Doug Herbert. Recall this car was repaired overnight and recall that Brett says Doug thinks the car may be even better now, Ted. I'm not really certain about that because you have two different chassis manufacturers here. The question is, will a crossbreed or hybrid chassis work out in Top Fuel? We're about to find out. There is Kenny Koretsky, who got into professional drag racing in the pro stock category and then jumped right up to Top Fuel. Recall, he qualified at the Summer Nationals at Atco, New Jersey and had a big control problem. Oh, Herbert smokes the tires and is done. Koretsky, 5-12. Listen to this. 282 miles per hour. Look at the clutch dust coming out. Nothing but traction. And then all of a sudden, about 60 feet out, up in smoke. First top fuel victory for Kenny Correct.